name is Sarah and this is Sarah's Creative Corner. This is episode seven, I think, of this knitting video series, I guess we can call it. And I am here to kind of catch you up on all the things that I have worked on over the past week. It is March 15th, so happy belated Pi Day for those who indulge. Um, and yeah, here in Maryland, it is a nice 70-ish degrees, but I think it's supposed to cool down next week, which is good and bad. Um, but I am here to catch you up on a finished object. I have a couple whips, um, and I have a little bit of spinning and a new item that I am swatching for. So I guess we can also kind of start off with what I am wearing. I am wearing this, which is a Tolsta tee by the Crayabea. Um, it was a really popular pattern last summer. I think that's when it came out. And it's just a raglan, <clears throat> a raglan t-shirt. Um, nothing that crazy about it. The thing I think that everyone really liked is that it is a it's just like a plain raglan and you there's some instructions on how you can um add eyelets add stripes um or just kind of like customize it so i just knit it to pattern so it is just a plain stockinette t-shirt um i knit it up in the i think it's called it's like one of the linen um one of the linen yarns from Knit Picks, um, and it is in creme brulee. It's just a nice yellow. I will probably knit another one this season in a fingering weight because the pattern comes in two different weights, DK and, um, and fingering. I think that was like updated towards the end of last summer. So this one is a DK weight. Um, and I really enjoy it. I wear it a lot during the like warmer days. So I look forward to having some more t-shirts in my collection and I find it to be really wearable. I think I might have lengthened mine just a touch, um, but nothing that crazy. I might lengthen the next one. I find this one to be just, just a sh like a short like a little bit too short um but I mostly wear high-waisted like jeans and skirts and shorts and stuff like that so it hasn't been that much of an issue so that is what I'm wearing and I guess we can get into my one and only finished object and that are my socks so I finally have a pair done so last week I was right here which is was like just a little bit before I started the heel did the whole entire heel gusset decreases and the foot and toe over the past week so that is what this looks like this is a stitch marker from I think fangirls fiber um from last year's sock week by nitty natty so that is this this is the cheap seat colorway in from Queen City Yarns um, and it is on their Noda sock base and like I said last week I don't think it's a color that is available anymore but maybe you can special order it I don't know if anyone's really that pressed to get this colorway I I imagine there's a lot of like cream white bases with bright <laughs> bright speckles on them so that is a finished object and I finished these last night, did the toe, I just need to finish weaving the ends and then they'll be done, but, or like officially done, but on my Ravelry, these are marked as done. And these are the Hermione's Everyday Sock. And it is a free pattern on Ravelry and it's just a nice, like kind of ribbing texture and they fit really well. And I guess that's really it. Um. So that is these. I would say that they look pretty, they look pretty similar. This one might be a little bit more speckled than this one, but that's okay. And I knit 60 stitches instead of 64. 
and I did an eye of partridge heel which is called for in the pattern but I didn't do the garter edge um I think I will probably just do the normal slip stitch heel moving forward I find that when I'm picking up my gusset I don't know it kind of like kind of makes holes so yeah we'll see I might try it on another pair and if I'm still having trouble then we'll just go back to the gusset decreases but it also might have just been that sock because I feel like this sock the pickup is pretty good yeah so that is my one and only finished object and just in time for the warm weather <laughs> but that is okay I have about like a third of the ball left so I will maybe like make a striped sock or something I have some bear yarn so maybe I'll just make the same socks again but with bear heels toes and cuffs not really sure I haven't decided what I want to do with my scraps yet for any of my sock yarn so that is my finished object so the next thing we can talk about is the Chloe sweater this is the I would say failed test knit <laughs> that I am a part of the pattern just came out today so if you want it I can link my Ravelry page to um, my project and from there you can buy the pattern but I come bearing with a back panel <laughs> so last week when I saw you I was here so I did like an inch or two on before I split for sleeves and then I split for sleeves I feel like it's really big and one of the options is you can do underarm shaping so I opted for that and that's really it about this one um I knit the size three and it is in the Talmudig. I feel like every time I say the colorway, it's I say it differently. Um, colorway, <laughs> and it is by Anna Arc Air, and it is their new to din. I am holding it double, as you can see. I was measuring my gauge earlier, and the yarn broke, and I was just like, you know what, that's fine. Um, but it seems really like really big and this is unblocked so I was talking to one of my friends about this and I might frog it because at least from what I'm measuring right now its width is a whole size up than what it should be so and I don't want it to be that big so I'm thinking that this is gonna go in hibernation for now and I will pick it up later but otherwise I think that I split for sleeves at a good point I extended the body by I would say like just a couple centimeters and then from there I split for sleeves so you work the back panel first and then you pick up and do the front but I will continue to work on this sporadically so you might not see this for a little bit it's gonna go in the timeout corner um but otherwise I really like I really liked working on it it was kind of a mindless knit I had to be a little bit more cognizant of what I was doing just because of the yarn but otherwise I think I will really enjoy having this in my collection um and it'll be a nice like cozy casual sweater to have um so yeah even though it's not finished there you go <laughs> that is my chloe sweater test so that was kind of a fail but can't hold it against myself 
All right, and then my next whip is my half and half triangles wrap. I didn't really get too much on it done. I was working on it yesterday. I got a couple rows, maybe like half an inch. <laughs> I was really in the sock mood this week. I think I was just so close. To, I felt like I was so close to finishing the sock that I just worked on that. But I have my half and half wrap. And that is all. I, that's all I did. Um, I am slowly but surely getting there. I'll probably work on it some more today. We're driving to go on like a short weekend trip this weekend. And since everyone is home, I get to have some knitting in the car time. And that will be really nice. Uh, I can't remember. I don't think I talked about this last week, but just a reminder, this is the Half and Half Triangles Wrap by Pearl Soho, and I'm knitting it in their yarn, which is Linen Quill, and this is Pale Mushroom, and this is Rhubarb Pink, and I have two modifications for it. I did German short rows, which you can see there and then I'm also doing a slip stitch edge which mm, you can see there and that's really it I'm knitting the larger of two sizes still working through my frog yarn but it's less than last time and yeah that's really it I I'm getting closer to being done hopefully by like the end of April, I could be done with this if I really work on it and if I don't have any test knits and stuff like that. Um, I haven't seen any tests or like sneaks of any tests that I want to join, but I think I'll take a break for now with them. But yeah, that is this guy. It is really cozy. I used it as a wrap the other week. I think I told you guys about it. And it did what it needed to do. So I'm excited to finish this up. It'll only take me like nine months basically to do it, but that is okay. And that's really all that I have for my whips. I have like a semi, a semi whip um, that I can show you. I bought the Traveler's Cowl this morning <laughs> and I have been swatching for it. So that is what it looks like. It is just like a repeat of garter and stockinette. And it's a series of 10 rows. So uh, this is my second swatch. As you can see, I undid my first swatch because that is what I do. But I think I'll probably knit the adult medium for it. I have this yarn. It is Dark Orchid by Honey Girl Farms. I'm not sure if they're still a company or if they're still dying, but I got this on Ravelry from someone's D stash when I first started knitting a few years ago. But yeah, it is on their pure DK base. They say it's a heavy DK worsted and it's a 100% superwash merino, 100 grams, 218 yards. So yeah, I would say that's probably a heavier DK weight. But yeah, I think this will be like a nice moody fall cowl to use. It calls for a six millimeter needle, or not six millimeter, it calls for a US six but I find that I'm a loose knitter compared to a lot of pattern designers. So I started my first swatch on a US 5 and I had, I think 19 rows for four inches and I need 21. So going down to US 4 and I do like the fabric a little more. It's not as holy as the other one. I never get row gauge. I think I talked about that a while ago 
I don't really know what to do with that, but I think that's fine. So I will probably steam block this, see what my stitch count is, and if my row count, row gauge is off, then that's that. And I'll probably start it today. So that is this. It's just a variegated, like a multicolor variegated yarn. It kind of reminds me of the spin cycle in a sense that she uses and then also like the hand dyed yarns or hand dyed fibers that she then spins up so <clears throat> that'll be this one and I normally and this is actually a pretty big swatch compared to what I normally do so hopefully it's accurate in comparison to my Chloe sweater swatch apparently so that is this guy it's already starting to pull but since the stitch count changes in the cowl I think it'll probably be different and it'll be interesting and if I don't like it I can always give it away I've had this yarn in my stash for a while and it'll be nice to get it out and just use it so that is that's this and I guess that's really all of my active whips. I'll probably wind up some yarn for some socks to also start working on for either myself or my husband and get going on those. I have a sock set that I could use for him and I've never done a sock set so we'll see how I will combine those colors. So I guess we will have to see until next week what that'll look like. So that's all the active things I'm working on. I haven't really worked on my Sophie shawl and I also haven't really worked on my uh, Lighthouse Keeper pullover, but that is okay. We will get there when we get there. And I have some acquisitions, again. <laughs> um, so I have a couple acquisitions. I recently joined the um, D-Stash discord and I found some yarn that I really liked and I thought I don't really have a lot of yarns in these colors so I got these two skeins I feel like that's pretty color accurate um they are by long dog yarn and this one is called Mackenzie these are from her outlander collection and I really got into Outlander a few years ago and I really like the colors so might as well just do a nod to that. It is on their Lux fingering base which is an 801010 merino cashmere nylon and it is 400 yards per 100 grams and I have full skeins of this and this one is on the same base Lux fingering and this one is called Blood of My Blood. So. Yeah, we will see what I knit these up on or <clears throat> knit these up into. I was thinking maybe this could be like a nice cabled sweater or something. Um, I kind of want to get into cabling, I haven't done it yet. I've heard that it's easy, a little intimidated, but that's okay. All right, um, <clears throat> and I guess just a little update on my spinning. I haven't been, I didn't do too much but here we are did a little bit but that that's really all um that's all the things that i've been up to this week another stressful week but i was able to get a sock done so that was good and i guess that is really it hopefully i will come to you with maybe a new cast on sock, a new cast on cowl, and some progress on my half and half wrap for next week. I'm not gonna make any promises. And I might have more acquisitions next week. Who knows? It seems like it is a weekly thing here. So I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a great weekend and I guess that is it. 
thank you and if you want to like and subscribe you can but otherwise i will see you later bye